Would you believe me if I would say that this is captured on a GoPro? And before we get into this video, please hit that like button and subscribe if you are enjoying what you're seeing right here. Let's learn something. The footage you just saw was captured on a GoPro with a Skyreet 1.33 times anamorphic lens. And in this video, I will be sharing my GoPro settings for the best anamorphic look and i will be also showing you how to deal with that footage later in post how to stretch it and i will also be sharing some secrets on how to achieve that ultra wide anamorphic image insane wide look without losing the resolution you just need to know a few things so let's get into it why would you even want this there are two main reasons why you would want anamorphic lens on your gopro first thing is you will get a wider field of view, mainly just horizontally, and it will also give you that anamorphic characteristic and also the flares. From what I learned, there are four ways how to use this that work the best. First is what if you don't need any stabilization? What if your camera will be mounted to somewhere without needing the stabilization or you're just capturing a static image like I'm doing right now? Then I would definitely go for 5.3K linear without hyper smooth and this will give you a really nice 1.33 times stretch a little correction it's not a 1.33 times stretch it's actually 1.21 stretch uh, i found that out by just having my siru lens with the gopro on the table at the same time and uh, i stretched them both with 1.33 it looked a little bit too stretched so I switched it to 1.21 and uh, now it looks correct. So uh, yeah, it's a 1.21 stretch, not 1.33. Uh, keep that in mind, but still looks pretty cool. Image after you go through the editing software and actually stretch it, because that's what you have to do when you are using anamorphic images. For that, you just go into Premiere, right click on the footage, modify and uh, change that interpret the footage to 1.33 times anamorphic and you have yourselves a stretched image that will look very good but what if you need to stabilize the footage i wouldn't go for the hyper smooth but if you absolutely need to stabilize the footage and you don't have real steady go then there is one setting that works the best for hyper smooth and that would be 5.3k with hyper smooth on in linear mode why linear mode? Because it's slightly cropped in and cropped in enough so that stabilization doesn't see the lens. So if you would be using wide field of view with the hyper smooth, you would see that lens getting into the image when you move more quickly and uh, you don't want that. You want the image to be lens free. So the second method of stabilizing this footage is with real steady go. I like this the best because it stabilizes the footage way better than hyper smooth and it also allows you to achieve the super wide field of view with the trick I will share you just in just a minute. But um, so the first method would be just also 5.3k no stabilization linear mode that will give you the best possible um, highest resolution stabilized image with real steady go on this setup because if we use 5k 4x3 mode that can also be used but then you will have to crop in almost 1.3 times into 5k not 5.3k so we are losing resolution in the settings 
plus we're zooming in and we are we're also losing the resolution again so we're getting much less resolution because you have to crop in to not get those edges for for uh, for stabilization yeah so i would definitely go for the most resolution to just retain the image quality after all the stabilization and all the stretching is done and then there is this method of stabilization to achieve that super wide look that i just showed you very easy 5.3k uh no stabilization but the lens mode should be in wide not linear why wide because when you stabilize your images through real steady go and if you have the lens mode to wide not super view or linear but wide then real steady go already kind of stretches the image uh, into 1.33 anamorphic like that stretch but we still haven't stretched it ourselves real steady go just did that for that wide lens mode and after we are done with the stretching in premiere we get this insanely wide anamorphic image personally i really enjoy how it looks it looks just incredible it's very wide it gives you and it's not fisheye wide it's like wide wide it looks very very cool it looks very cinematic for my eyes at least if you're using this on an fpv drone like i'm planning on to do because gopro for me was uh i, I thought i will stop using it after i got the action 2 because action 2 can do incredible stabilization in camera but now that i got this anamorphic lens like my gopro just got itself a much greater purpose than just capturing capturing in anamorphic so uh if anyone is listening freewell skyreet olanzi whoever make an anamorphic lens for the action too please and make it light so so it does not drop or just make the magnets extra strong so it just so it's in place and if you can then please make so you can insert nd filters if you can get those insertable nd filters in there that would be just insane like i'm a big fan of anamorphic images as you may know already the the ones who are looking at my videos regularly they know that i'm just a big fan of that anamorphic look of the flares of everything it's it's an amazing amazing look i i love it and that's the reason why I'm still keeping this GoPro is because of this lens. And that is how you get these really amazing anamorphic images on a GoPro. Um, personally, I really enjoy that crazy wide anamorphic image that you can achieve. Well, you do need real steady go to achieve that. Although you could technically do it yourself with stretching it manually, but that would take quite a lot of finessing around with the settings and I just found out that using Real Steady Go is much simpler for that. Even if you're using it just for simple uh, tripod shots, I would still use Real Steady Go because it de-warps the image so well, it just knows what to do with the GoPro image and afterwards you just need to stretch it in Premiere and you get that super wide image hopefully you were able to learn something new today if you did then please hit that like button and maybe hit that like button again and again and again no don't do that and that will help me to get this video to broader audiences and uh, it's very much appreciated and if you want to see more from me more about camera stuff drone stuff anamorphic stuff then please subscribe and um, if you want to get your own anamorphic lens go check the link in the description uh, i do recommend it it's quite very good go get that lens and uh, see you in the next video